all right so let's look at this question which is about framework we'll look at option e is jakako jakako measures java code coverage but doesn't support ui interaction or browser automation what we need as per the question it's out we'll move to b b says playwright playwright is designed for end to end ui automation across modern web browsers and supports cross platform testing as well this uh, looks good we'll move to c c says xamarin ui test xamarin ui test is built for mobile application ui testing not for uh, web application interfaces it's incorrect we'll move to d this is microsoft code analysis microsoft code analysis provides code analysis api but doesn't offer ui testing capabilities a wrong answer as per the requirement mentioned here in the question we'll lock option b play right as a right choice okay we have a classic question on github and devops definitely we'll look at option a option a if we look running a what if step offers visual insight into changes but doesn't integrate formal compliance validation task is incorrect we'll move to b b says use azure automation to simulate infrastructure changes with what if and evaluate gate conditions azure automation with what if can simulate results but isn't natively wired into the azure devops security compliance scanning framework we we'll move to c c says create a build pipeline triggered by pull request pull request assessments validate code structure or syntax early not policy compliance tied to runtime deployments we'll move to option d option d if we check it says configure deployment gate and include azure devops security and compliance assessment task adding the security and compliance assessment task to the deployment gate enables pre production validation of infrastructure changes against organization policy definition looks good the we'll lock option d as the right answer all right now this question will test your concepts on coding let's first look at option a if you look at option a it says dot slash star star this is not a valid um pattern in dot artifact ignore and may not match all nested files therefore incorrect we'll move to b b says use star star slash star to include all nested built output and exclamation star dot dll to exclude dot dll extensions pattern star slash star includes all files recursively and exclamation that is not asterisk dot dll excludes dot dll files from being published as artifacts because that's what uh, we need if you look here we need to exclude any dot dll extension so not is just the reverse what we don't need that is it excludes and um, we need uh, for the um artifact file that retains all files within the built output folder which will do this um, this will solve the uh, purpose let's keep this will move to d d says uh, star slash double star so this includes only one level of um, sub directories and doesn't uh, exclude dot dll uh, files as mentioned um, here so this is out we'll move to d d says include star star slash star for full inclusion and uh, here uh, here it's uh, suspicious because it says hash star dot dll the symbol hash denotes a comment so hash star dot dll is ignored and has no effect let's say eliminated will lock option b as the right answer we have a brainstorming question now this is all about using principle of least privilege we we'll look at option e it is a dev center project admin dev center project admin grants broad administrative control exceeding the permission scope for environment provisioning so it's out we'll move to b b says deployment environments user deployment environments user enables environment provisioning within azure deployment environments while honoring the principle of least privilege let's keep this we'll move to c 
CCS contributors. Contributors support pipeline edits, but doesn't permit environment provisioning task in deployment environments. Incorrect. We'll move to D. D says built administrators. Built administrators manages pipeline infrastructure and settings, not environment provisioning access. Let's delete this. The lock option B, deployment e environments, user as a right choice. All right, now here we go with an interesting uh, question. We will look at first option E, E says outputs. Outputs expose values after deployment, but doesn't enable reuse of logic from other templates. So it's incorrect. Let's move to option B. B says uh, resources. Resources define infrastructure, but doesn't uh, reference external templates for reuse. Wrong choice. Let's move to C. C says modules. Modules allow us to encapsulate and reuse logic from other biceps templates, enabling composition and maintainability. Uh, looks good. Like we can keep this when we move to D. D says parameters. Parameters allow input customization, but doesn't facilitate importing logic from other templates let's delete this well lock option c modules as the right choice Alrighty, here we go with an interesting question uh, which is about testing and rollbacking um, we also need to allow quick promotion of tested version to production and enable fast rollback to previous version if required option e says a to b testing a to b testing compares two versions for user behavior analysis but doesn't streamline promotion or uh, rollback what's required by the equation a is out we'll move to b b says uh, feature toggle feature toggle controls feature visibility within the same deployment but doesn't isolate full versions or simplify rollback let's read this we'll move to c c says progressive exposure progressive exposure gradually increases user traffic to a new version but lacks the instant switch and rollback simplicity of uh, blue green therefore wrong answer we'll move to uh, d d says blue green blue green deployment maintains two identical environments allowing traffic to be routed to the new version for testing and easily switching back if rollback required and this satisfies the requirement of the equation option d blue green is the right answer all righty here we go with an interesting uh, question which is all about controlled rollout of code changes let's look at option e e says progressive exposure progressive exposure allows staged rollouts with observability and traffic control enabling safe feature validation before full release let's keep this we'll move to b b says a to b a to b focuses on comparing user behaviors across variants not on gradual rollout or traffic control let's delete this we'll move to c c says feature toggle feature toggles manages feature visibility but doesn't provide traffic based rollout or monitoring capabilities wrong choice we'll move to d d says blue green blue green swaps environments instantly but lacks gradual exposure and user segmentation let's read this the lock option a progressive exposure as the right answer for this all right we got a multiple choice question this time we need to select two correct answers so first is option e this is access the historical graph for agent pools to visualize consumption trends over time the historical graph provides visual insights into how agent resources are consumed over time helping identify user trends and capacity bottlenecks let's keep this we'll move to option b b says use the pipeline duration report to review how long recent builds have taken pipeline duration report tracks the time taken by pipeline runs but doesn't provide any information about agent pool utilization or concurrency let's delete this let's move to option c c says call the task agent pool size snapshot or task agent pool size snapshots endpoint 
to extract usage matrix. These endpoints expose matrix related to agent pull size and usage at different points in time, enabling programmatic analysis and reporting. Uh, this looks another correct answer. We'll move to D. D says query the pipeline run or pipeline runs endpoint to retrieve built execution details. And these endpoints return pipeline metadata such as status, duration, and timestamp, but they do not include details about agent pull workloads. Wrong choice. We'll lock option E and C as the right answers. All right, this question will test your concepts on the appropriate format for um, the um, test result files. This is uh, all about CICD pipeline in Azure uh, DevOps uh, DevOps pipelines. So let's look at first option E. It says VS test. Uh, .trx is uh, the native file format generated by Visual Studio test task, which aligns with the uh, VST, uh, that is vested format. Let's keep this. We'll move to B. B says N unit. N unit, known as net test framework, generates XML result files, not dot um, TRX. Uh, hence incorrect. Let's move to option C. C says C result, uh, C test. C test outputs uh, results in XML or JSON not dot trx wrong choice we'll move to d d says j unit j unit that is java unit test framework test results um, where are which are stored in xml format not do, again dot trx so j unit is out we'll lock option a that is uh, vested that is vst est um, as the right answer all right this is real life scenario where we need to reduce overall test execution time while maintaining the existing code coverage ratio to avoid compromising quality metrics. Let's look at first option A. It says turn on flaky test management. Flaky test management helps identify unusable test but doesn't reduce test duration or affect coverage. So this is out. We'll move to B. B says purchase additional parallel jobs. Parallel jobs improve throughput but doesn't optimize which tests are executed. Let's read this. We'll move to C. C says enable a test impact analysis. Test impact analysis runs only the test impacted by recent code changes, reducing execution time while preserving meaningful coverage. Let's keep this. This aligns with the requirement of the question. D says add agent pull. Adding agents increases capacity but doesn't reduce the number of um, uh, tests or maintain coverage efficiency. So option D is out. We are left out with uh, TIA, that is uh, test impact analysis. This is the right answer. If you want a PDF version, including the hands-on files, uh, please do consider joining the membership, diamond membership or above, which will unlock the uh, PDF as well as uh, hands-on files, including the keyword tricks present in the PDF. After enrolling, please do connect with me on LinkedIn at the rate of Cloud Guru Amit or Instagram at the rate of Amit Physic, where I'll be helping you with the uh, PDF as well as the hands-on file access. Thank you so much for watching this video.